Hello everyone, Sandeep here from Logic. So this is a 75 inch uh, interactive display. So it has got a dual operating system. One is a Android, which is a default. And we have got an optional of a Windows operating system as well. Whenever you want to switch between Android to the Windows, so there are side toolbars, one on the right, one on the left, and one you have got at the bottom. So you can choose on a menu option. You have got an option to change the sources. So there is a HDMI, there is a PC, and there are Type-C and all those. When you want to switch from Android to the Windows, there is an option of a PC. So let me show you once again. So this is a PC. Once you press it on the PC, it will change from Android operating system to the Windows operating system. So this is a home page of the Windows operating system. OPS, OPS is an open pluggable system. It comes with a Windows preloaded OS. It has got a i5, 11th generation, 8 GB of a RAM, 256 GB of a SSD. And there is an option of expanding to the 1 TB SDD. So it is uh, normal to the laptop operating system. So normally how we use our laptop, the same functionality and applications, everything remains same for the display as well. So additionally, we have got a touch functionality. So it's nothing but a panel with a touch functionalities for the Windows operating system. OPS, we can install any of the application with the .exe files, same way how we install it in our laptop. So apart from that, we are giving you the three applications from logic side. One is a Note 3, that is for the whiteboard. Second one is a Capture, that is for the screen recording. And last one is a Connect, that is for the wireless presentation. So now we will see how the application works into this display. Now you can see the icon of Note 3 here. Once you press it here, you will be getting a whiteboard application, that is Note 3. That is for the whiteboard, where teacher can or the presenter can write over here. So there is an icon of a pen or the pencil. So you have got multiple options here where I can choose for the pencil or brush, marker. So you can see all the tools here. Even you can change the thickness, you can increase or decrease the thickness. Even I can choose for the color of the pen. There are multiple colors. So just I will see, like now I am choosing it with a pencil. So with a different thickness, I can write it over here. And whenever you want to erase it on the whatever the things you have written. So there is an option of an eraser. Just I will be erasing it with a pen. So this is a stylus that I was talking about. So there is a one more option of a nearest to the shape. So if I am drawing a line here, automatically it is taking for the line. It might be a zigzag version, but it is taking for the line. If it is a close version, so again it is making it as a straight lines. So that is a one option we again we have got. There is a palm option that is icon where we can increase or decrease the size of the drawings or the content, whatever we have written on the panel or even we can move the things from right side to the left or bottom to the up. So additionally option is a auto hand recognition. So if I am writing, yes, so it might handwriting, but it is taking to the system form. That is the automatic hand recognition that we have got here. So there is option of undo and redo in the same. So we can have multiple op pages here. I can add n number of pages here. And again, I can go back to the page wherever I am writing here. So now we will see the menu toolbar. So there is an icon of a menu toolbar. And first option is of a file. So whenever you want to open a new file, there is an option of a new. And whatever the file already we have saved, there is an option to open the existing file. And there is an option as save and save as. Save as is for like a, whenever you are saving it for the first time. So it will ask for the path or the folder where you want to save the file. So you can browse it or like wherever you want to save this PC or desktop or making it as a new folder for the subject wise or wherever you want to save. So you can save and there is an option of a save. So like you have already opened the existing file and you have done the sheet working and you want to save it, there is an option of save. Once you press it as a save, it will save for like uh, whatever the things you have already done. So there is option of import. So import option is for like, you are already using a worksheet here, you are presenting or you are preparing some of the content and you want to import some of the images that are already there in a local content or like a local device. So you can just copy it to the clipboard and you can insert those images to the whiteboard. So after import, there is an option of export. So whatever the worksheet we are doing, that will be saved as a default .env format, that is of a notebook uh, format. If you want to save it into the external or the other formats of a image or PPT or PDF or doc, there is an option of saving it. You can choose and after the finishing your work, 
you can choose any of the format so you can save it any of the formats here so there is a one more option of a print which is useful for the teachers or like whoever is a presenter or for the corporates whenever they are configuring this panel to the uh, printer so directly they can give the print like whatever the sheet they are preparing directly they can configure and they can give for the print here so this is the configuration here you can directly give the print as well after print we have got an option of our settings so that is for the whiteboard like how you want to prepare the sheet whether you want to make it in a 16 inch to 9 aspect ratio and the languages or default uh, font or something that is related to the basic settings or so that is also available in the application after that there is a mode option here so this is for like whenever you want to open default application and you want to make a presentation so there is a teaching application so you will be preparing content inside the application and there is an option of a desktop so desktop is nothing but where you want to annotate on the google or like of the, any of the videos that are not there in a note so now i have got an application here for the desktop so i have chosen a pen here so now i will be able to annotate on the desktop home screen otherwise i can open to the browser and i can go to the google or i can go to the any of the videos and i can go to the note application to the mode change of a desktop and i will be able to annotate anywhere and everywhere that is also an option once you are done with that there is an option of a note so once you press back to the note again you will be back to the note application that is a default version where you will be preparing the content so there is an option of a exit once you are done with all your presentation and all those if you press it on the exit the application will get closed that is on the menu toolbar now we will check with the treasure box so treasure box is a tool where we have got multiple options for the teacher or the presenter so that uh, make the teacher or the presenter with a more effective for the students or the people there in a discussion room <clears throat> there is a browser option here so once you choose the browser option so this is for the people or like for the option where you do not need to go out of the presentation that is of the whiteboard so if you want to browse something or like if you want to check something in the internet so you can directly go to the browser and you can type on some something you want to check on so you can view and you can choose everything here so that will be helpful for the presenter to save his time instead of going out of the application and searching there and often coming back it will save a lot of time for the presenter so this is the one option in a treasure box of a browser so now we will check with the next tool that is a writing board so there is a writing board here so that is like uh, the teacher or the presenter use like parallel to the main board so they can have any of the rough calculation or something where they can write it here and they can close at the time so they can continue with the main presentation after that we have got a clock if they want to show the time or something to the class so we can place it anywhere in the presentation mode after that we have got a calendar as well to show the date or time along with the time so there is an option of a magnifier like if you want to zoom in to the picture that is there in a magnifier so we can now you can see with a normal font as well as with a zooming so even we can have the settings for the magnifier as well we can reduce the size or we can zoom in so this is of a magnifier tool so now we will check with the next tool that is a spotlight whenever you want to highlight on something when you are presenting or whenever you want to showcase something so you can just now you can see logic which is uh, highlighted so even you can change the size of the spotlight so you can make it into bigger one or a smaller one even you can change the shape of the spotlight you can make it into square or the circle one so this is for the spotlight so now we will see the next tool that is a timer whenever you want to give some specific time for the student or the in the session to have a thing so we can start the timer here so we on we have got that tool so there is a next tool of a object book this is like whenever we are connecting external camera and you want to show something from your book or like where there is a already camera you can keep something that is written in a book like some student has written his assignment and we can keep it in front of the camera so that that will be published into this screen that is the option here and after that uh, we have got a screenshot so whenever you want to take a screenshot in the application so there is a option of a screenshot as well so these are the basic tools that are helpful for the writing board so now we will move into the discipline tools so whatever the basic tools we have seen now so now we will go subject wise tool so there are four subjects here chemistry physics math and english 
So there are multiple tools for each subject. So if it is a chemistry, so we require a beaker, flask, and we require an automatic structure. And there are multiple tools here. So just you can see one thing. If you are choosing any of the tool here or the icons, it will get automatically get into the page. So if you want to show any of the experiment, so I can choose any of the tools here so that I can place it over here. So that is a stand and there is a, both a stand. So even I can place a lamp here. So even I can turn on the frame here. Even I can adjust the size for that. So without using any of the original equipment, we can use the virtual equipments here. So even we can show how the procedure goes. This is all about how the procedure goes and what are the steps that has to be followed. So we have got multiple tools in the chemistry here. So you can see multiple tools here. Based on how we are performing the experiments, we can use the tools. So in the chemistry, as well as we have got the atomic structure. So once you choose the atomic structure, so there is an option here. You will be getting the electronic composition as well. So atomic structure, atomic mass. So everything is there with that. And even there is a periodic table. So you can see the periodic table. So if you are choosing for the lithium, it will show what is the atomic structure and all those here. So these are the multiple tools that are there in a the chemistry. So similar way we have got in a physics. So if you want to conduct an experiment, there is a voltage meter. So just let me add in one more slide for that. So now we are choosing for the physics tools. So I can choose for the voltage meter. So I can change the voltage meter and I can give it whenever you want to show the experiment. You can ask the students to set it for the 7.5 volts. They have set it there. And similar way, there is a multiple things or the tools. Even you can use the bulb. You can turn on the light and you can turn off the... And you can change the colors as well. So similar way, we have got it for the mathematics as well. So you can just need to change over here. You can choose the compass. So to draw a circle, so within a fraction of a second, I would be able to draw the circle. So one more thing, we have a shortcut here, like three dots here. Once you press on that, we have got a direct tools here. One is for the mathematics, this is for the English, this is for the physics and chemistry, and this is for the whiteboard presentation. So now we are going to see the physics tools. So once you press it here, and if you go for the tools icon, directly you get the physics icons here. So now I will show the experiment. I'm choosing a bulb, I'm choosing a volt meter. So whenever the teacher wants to show the uh, experiment in a theoretical way, so it has to be, bulb has to be connected to the volt meter and there will be a parallel or series connectivity and where it will be connected to the plus minus all those circuit diagrams. So teacher can explain, once you are setting the volt meter to the some voltages, then only the current starts to glow. So adjusting the voltmeter because all those uh, there are multiple formulas like where V is equal to Ri and all those by calculating that or the, the teacher can explain here by writing the formulas or calculation they can show the experiment here. So this way the tools are used for the physics experiment. So now we will switch on to the next one that is the uh, mathematics here. So once you choose for the mathematics even the background colors also changes. So once you press it on the icons so you will get all uh, direct mathematics tools. So there is a compass. Everyone knows that why the compass is used. So if you want to draw a circle, so we can use the compass. And even it is showing what is the degree and what is the radius of the circle. So it's a 1.9 inches with a 360 degree of a circle. So similar way, we have got multiple tools like a ruler, where whenever the teacher or the presenter wants to draw a straight line. So this is the tools and there are multiple tools like compass, protractor. So these are used for the mathematics class. So there is a one more tool related to English. So even you will see the background change. So once you are going for the tool, so you will get a four line grid whenever the teacher starts to teach about the letters. So when it starts with a four grid letter, so just let me choose pen. So where teacher will say capital H has to be uh, written with the top two lines and whenever you are writing with a small letter B the same way C has to be written with a only one line and D the way goes on like teacher can explain to the students how the writing has to be so these are the disciplinary 
tools that are used in our subjects. So this is all about our tools here. Uh, as you have seen the note tree uh, that is for the whiteboard. Now we will see the capture that is for the screen recording. So we have got three icons here, record, edit and canvas. So if you want to record the screen, like uh, you can record whole the screen, not only for the whiteboard, even if you are working on a normal desktop mode. So you have opened any of the application where you want to record the screen. There are multiple options here. So not only with the screen, if you are connecting external cameras, even we can uh, record the presenter as well. So even we can connect the external audio here and we can increase or decrease the volume. And one more advantage is like we have got an option of recording portion. So if you want to record full screen or like if you want to customize only the portion of the recording. So we have got both. So now I will choose it for the full and I will start for the recording. So it will show 3, 2, 1. So after that it will start recording. So now the screen is been recording. I will just open randomly. I will open some of the things. So then we can use any of the application or whatever we want to do. So I can go back to the recording and you will be seeing the icon here. I can press it on the stop. So the recording has been completed. So you will be able to see the recording after once you have stopped. But still it's not been saved. So for that we have got an option of export. Once we are choosing the option of our export, again it will uh, save it in MP4 format and it will ask for the file where you want to save along with the customized name. So I will just randomly save the file. So it will show export succeeded. This is all about the recording. So we can go back to the main page. So now there was an option of uh, edit. Like whenever you want to edit some of the things, we can do that. And cameras is like whenever you are connecting the external cameras, it might be in video conferencing camera or like a DSLR or any of the external cameras. We can connect and we can record the presenter as well. This is all about capture.